every generation will not be confused there is a generation that will get this thing from that day the creative dimension of the prophetic there must be a performance because So after service do well to hug someone some of you already came and you insulted everyone those who are sitting near you is as if they are unclean because you are prophet yourself who are sat down there now be careful this sermon is to edit to give you a new orientation don't look down at people yes they may not have revelation like you yet yes they may not have this and that but be disciplined is this indiscipline that is destroying people in church they will tell someone come and take offering you will come and say i'm seeing something and spend two hours wasting time because of no closing prayer pray and go and sit down i hope you are learning you must learn to forbear learn to forbear learn to forbear many people will annoy you including me learn to forbear learn to forbear more than forgive learn to forbear apostle you don't know my pastor the way i'm even looking at him now is as if i should carry it mm, that is now a luciferian spirit don't go that route no love walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love increase lord make us instrument of your peace the walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instrument Today, God has helped me, but I'm a product of many ministries. I have honor and regard to all the people that God used to raise me. Many of them are alive today. I honor them till the day that they see his face. My principal in the seminary is still alive. And every time I have the opportunity to honor him, I will honor him. Archbishop Benjamin Kwashi honor them these are fathers of faith that saw us and believed in us when there was nothing can i tell you some of the pastors we used to do evangelism every saturday discipleship not this thing that pentecostals do proper discipleship that you sit down with a notebook already prepared it's not what you are guessing hospital visitations all of these things was part of the training that has made us today just because god has helped us to be where we are we should never look down at them some of them may not have all the revelation but we don't come close to the character and stability that some of them had some of you may need to go back to some of your orthodox churches and greet your reverend even as a prophet and bend your head and say good afternoon sir and if he says my son how are you john don't say no they now call me prophet john what is that <laughs> you bend that head and let him bless you sincerely are, are you listening now yes don't say i've become a big man there are people till tomorrow if i see if i cannot go down my knees i will bend my head in honor to them their impact in my life remains indelible till jesus comes one of the people that God used to get me filled with the Holy Spirit, they visited my family house sometime last year. When I was told, I was so, so happy. A dear woman of God, years ago from Kaduna State, that God used, God used this woman to file us in the Spirit. As young people, it was under her watch and her brother, we started something called Operation Catacruz. He was praying in tongues till morning. Now she's gone to be with the Lord. I said they should find where her child is 
and may God grant me the grace that I will sponsor that child till she's done. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, we're going to pray, but I want to encourage you before I give you the last one. Some of you may need to go back memory lane and start thinking of the people who believed in you when you were nothing. Are we together now? And start come back to them and say God has helped me now it doesn't have to be in the fivefold ministry and see what you can do to help them if they don't need your help you can do something to their children oh I hear that your child is now in secondary school how much is the school fees 20,000 we've paid half remaining half and you are a multi-millionaire that's an insult to you what is your millions for then when you can sit down and say young boy just love God let me take off this stress and help you your father did this and that to me there was a time I was crying your father could not preach but he came and wrapped his arms around me don't forget people who help you when you rise but my message is that as a ministry we have been given a message of love and unity I don't just preach to you God knows and you know that I love you from the depth of my heart even the devil knows you cannot preach to a people that you really do not love. When I meet with the workers, they know that I love them. They know that I love the leaders. I will never use people in this ministry. It is to love and to give. The Bible says a good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The message of unity and love. So from tonight, become an advocate of unity and love. Don't because of your love and passion for Koinonia and Joshua Selman tear down any man of God and tear down any ministry and say you guys are just playing in your church you are playing games come to Koinonia and see things mm -mm. that is not part of your assignment you are doing another thing that God did not ask you to do are we together till today as a man of God there are people today I can hear that they are organizing programs somewhere and I call someone and say okay send me this man okay how are you I hear you're organizing a program somewhere yes so apostle I'm just saying it not for pride but for you to know okay here's a little seed to support you people on what you are doing and some of them are aware of some of some of the not too good things that they've said and that does not matter like Joseph when God has elevated you it's easy to forgive and let go when you are lifted you are lifted you are lifted by God there's nothing the devil can do about it. There's one song that says, The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. You know that song? The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. If you rise by knowledge, you don't fear your growth. Because wisdom and knowledge, according to Isaiah 33, are stabilizers. They bring you stability. You only fear your success if you rise by mistake. Are we together? Let me give you the last and then we'll pray. Thank you for your patience. The last doctrinal pillar that... Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.